Let's take a look at Quick's interface. When you open Photoshop and are not working with any particular project at this moment, this is the interface that you're going to see in the plugin panel. You have the three main buttons here. This one creates a new project. The second one open a previous project. And the third one open the last project. Then you have a list of the recent projects that you have worked in our near past. So the more projects you have in this list, the more you're going to see them. So in this, in our case, we have worked in the afraid, basketball, falling, beans, and the list goes. If you decide to remove one of these projects from this list, all you have to do is to select it and press delete on your keyboard. And the project is going to uh, get out of the list. These do not delete the project, just remove it from the list. Also, because we have in our sets window the, the option to see sample projects provided by QuickShare in this list, we are seeing this afraid project here. Again, uh, this is just a template for new projects. And those ones with the gray icon are projects that you have uh, worked in the past. Below that, we have the app showcase. Every time there you select, you open Quick again, you're going to see a new banner from a QuickMade app being shown here. So in our case here, if you just click the, the banner, you're going to be redirected to the app information into Quick Showcase. So this is a good way to, to, to promote some great apps made with the plugin as well. Then you have the status bar with access to the settings information about your uh, subscription so in our case we are using a trial version if we were using a paid version you would be uh, seeing here the, the number of days till your registration expire and also we have here the number of the version the quick version that we are using at this moment as well as the update button the get updates button if you click here Quick will verify in the website if there's a new update and will show it for you and you can download from here. So let's open one of the projects. Again, if you decide to open a previous project, all you have to do is to select one of them. I'm going to do it now just double clicking this one here. So now that we have a project open, we have a few chains in our main panel here. So the status bar is still the same. We have now what we call a, the tool set menu, which includes five different big icons. In our case, the project and page, layers and replacements, animations, interactions, and physics. Those are, let's say, the main categories of features that you have natively in, to, in Quick. Also, you have quick access to create a new project or open a previous one. As you may have seen, in each tool set, you have a different set new icons. Then we have the information about the current project. In our case, basketball, it was designed for the iPad. You can close this project anytime. You can publish it. And close to the publishing button now, we have a few new icons. You have the compressed PNG files, which is a good option when you finish your project and now you are ready to publish. So this will compress all the PNG files that you have, reducing the, the, the size of your entire project. You have the options to export with image, enable or, or disabling it. And also you have the options to export all pages or just uh, set of pages. In our case, we can export just page one, or if you have more than one page, you could say, okay, let's export from this page, which is number one in our case, to page four, for example. Here we have uh, the different views. In our case, we are in the component view, and it shows that we are in page one, but also we can have the page view. In this case, we are just seeing the list of pages. In our project here, we just have one page. If we go back to switch the page view, we have the full list of features and, uh, and things that we set into our project here. 
you have the delete button so if you want to delete something all you have to do is to select the object and click the delete or you just can click the delete key uh, a new thing that you can do is if you press uh, the letter P the, the the view the, the it's going to be a switch to page view and if you have this if you press the C you can see the the component view so C for component view P for page view if you can now select just one object or page or you can have multiple selections just using a shift or control in this case control to select non uh, uh, sequential features so in this way we have a few lines select and now we can simply hit delete and delete all of them at the same time and now you can even copy all of them at the same time this again is the list of all the components that we have set in our page but now we uh, yeah, and we know that we have all of them here because it's set to all but it, we can come here and say yeah, well, I, I would like to see just the actions that I have in my project and you can see just the actions now or you may say I just want to see all the buttons that I have in my project in this case there is no buttons or you may even see I just want to see my physical bodies so this is the list another thing that you can do now is to search by name so let's say I just want to find components starting or uh, or having the word bo so we start to see there is a couple of audios bodies and an uh, action but if i can come see okay just bounce bounce i have an action and i have an audio file with this this name so which again it's speed up your usage of of the the panel and of course you can close anytime and we are going to go back to the main window